And without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. So first what I'm doing is painting the canvas. Um, I first painted it with white and then I'm going over it with gray paint and then some type of orangey, peachy color. Um, I wanted to do like this marble type of thing, but it did not work out that way. So yeah, it ended up looking like this, which I am perfectly fine with. This is supposed to be the fun part, you guys. Just sit back, relax, and just paint whatever colors you want to paint. So at this moment, I just used a pencil and just traced my name. However, using my own handwriting, you can do it however you want, whatever font you want. But this is just how I chose to do it because it was easiest. So as you see, you guys, you can see the excess like pencil markings where I just tried to um, retrace the the handwriting so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and take a pencil and just use the eraser and just erase off all of it because it will show up on the canvas all right so next you want to take the top part off the green light and then you also want to take the battery part and detach it from the light because obviously that can't go through the canvas so what I'm doing now is planning the entry and the exit points, which is so, so important for you to know ahead of time. But I'm kind of doing it as I go for each letter because I don't want to um, do all of the letters at one time and then have to go back and redo it or mess something up. You also want to make sure that the holes aren't, you know, too big because, honey, look. I've messed up some holes where it was huge. So now I am just putting a hole big enough for the light to go through. You also want to make sure that when you are um, entering and exiting the points that you pull the string all the way through. That is so important or else how else you gonna you know, glue it down. So now I'm just hot gluing um, the light down. Sometimes the glue did not stay and it would just come up. As you guys see right there, it is coming up. So I just added more glue. And then later on you'll see I'll grab like a knife or something. And while the glue is still hot, I would kind of just scrape it off because you don't want that excess glue because it can show up on the canvas. Um, if you guys know an easier way, please leave a comment down. Here's where I tried to <laughs> get the knife and scrape the excess glue off, but honey, it already cooled. So, um, yeah, I couldn't get that off. So if you want to do that, just make sure you get it immediately while it's still hot. Again, you want to make sure that you pull the string all the way through anytime you are entering and exiting a hole.
the beak is almost done guys i am so excited because that was the hardest and the longest letter the b and then the k was also difficult it could have been because of my handwriting i probably should have made it a little bit more simpler Finally, y'all, we did it, Joe. We did it. Okay, so right here guys, I messed up really bad because the K is hitting the wood that's on the back of the canvas. So I cannot pull the neon um, lights through. So now I'm gonna have to move the K over and kind of just erase that K and just try to figure it out. And I made a big hole, which I mean, it's not that noticeable when you put it on the wall, but I'll figure it out. Just keep watching. I also had to remake the eye because it just, y'all, the K kind of messed up everything. And I was trying to figure out how to remake the eye and then connect it to the K. So it looks kind of funky, but I mean, it still works. I mean, I like it and I'm going to hang it up. So. And just like that, guys, we are all done. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.